Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can find GCDs or greatest common divisors and LCMs or least common multiples on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the option key that looks like this located here, the comma key that looks like this located here, the bracket keys that look like this, located here, and the F1 through F6 keys located across the top here. For our first example, let's find the GCD of 28 and 35. To get started, we have to find GCD in our menus. To do that, we start by hitting Option, then F6, and then F4 for num, and then F6 again, so that we see this menu here. And now we see F2 is GCD, so we can hit that. Now we see GCD with an open bracket on our screen. We enter our first number, which was 28, and then we need to hit a comma separate our two numbers. Our next number is 35, and then we can close our brackets and hit EXE. And there we go. The GCD of 28 and 35 is 7, which is correct. What about LCMs or least common multiples? Let's find the LCM of 9 and 15. Again, we can find it in that same menu under F3. So if we hit that, we see LCM with our open bracket, and we can enter our first number, which was nine, then a comma, our second number, which was 15, and close our bracket, and hit EXE. And there we go. The LCM, or least common multiple, of nine and 15, is 45. What if we want to find the GCD or LCM of more than two numbers? For example, if we want to find the GCD of 100, 25, and 10. To do that, we have to put one GCD function inside of another. So to get started, we start with the GCD again, and then the first number, which was 100, hit a comma, and then we hit the GCD again. There we go. We have a second GCD function inside the first. Then our next number, which was 25, comma, and our last number, which was 10. And then we want to close both sets of brackets and hit EXE. And there we go. The GCD of 100, 25, and 10 is 5. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.